بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه الان ان شاء الله تعالى معنا آه المحاضره اللي هي الخاصه ب التغذيه الرياضيه وزي ما قلت لكم الاشكاليه الموجوده عندنا اللي هي موضوع انقاص الاوزان واضرارها وشو الغذاء الصحيح واشياء كثيره كامله متعلقه بالتغذيه الصحيحه الرياضيين يشرفنا طبعا الدكتور اليوم سعيد ساساني احد الاخصائيين في مجال التغذيه وطبعا كان طبيب الخاص ب منتخب اتحاد بناء الاجسام واضاف الى ذلك بعض الانديه الرياضيه اعتقد كذلك نادي النصر ومجموعه مؤسسات رياضيه نرحب فيه طبعا من ايران تفضل 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 باسمي باسم اتحاد الامارات باسم المنظم اتحاد نادي الشارقه لرياضات دفاع النفس نرحب فيه نشكر حضوره طبعا المحاضره بتكون باللغه الانجليزيه واللي مش فاهم طبعا كذلك لغته العربيه كويسه اضف الى اللغه الام الفارسيه في فكل شيء موجود دكتور سعيد جدا متعاون وطبعا سواء اتحاد بناء الاجسام او شخصيات رياضيه كثيره يعني هم كانوا حلقه الوصل معاه مجرد ما طلبنا نشكره لحضوره معنا شكرا جزيلا شكرا شكرا السلام طبعا. عليكم ورحمة الله أول شيء أنا أتكلم أنا أتكلم عربي بس شوي شوي so I'm, I prefer to talk in English it's much better but in some part maybe there is some technical words I'm trying to say by uh, Arabic first of all uh, thank you very much uh, to introduce me uh, now what uh, Uh, today I'm going to talk uh, about this, uh, it's a nutrition, not the normal nutrition, it's a sports nutrition. Uh, based on the experience that I have with the athletes in the uh, last almost 20 years, I was uh, dealing with the athletes, with the high class, world class athletes uh, in the different, uh, different sports. Uh, I am the doctor in the Bodybuilding Federation, UAE Etahad al Amarat al Banal Aishtam. Before I was the doctor for Nadia Nasser. In Nadia Nasser, we had uh, 14 different sports. And uh, also, I'm dealing a lot with the football players. They come to me uh, too much. So, what I'm going today, uh, I want to give you some practical information because if you, if you just go to to the internet if you search about the nutrition you can get some information but those information may be not practical for you but I want to give you some practical information first regarding the uh, nutrition and basic of the nutrition and some some uh, basic information you should know about the nutrition for example what is calorie what is the BMI and these basic things Then I move to, uh, to the different types of the food that this is also basic. And after that, I'm going to the sports supplements, which is very, very important. Most of the uh, athletes uh, in different sports, they think that the sports, the sports supplements is only for the bodybuilders. It's not the same. Sports uh, supplements for all the sports, but unfortunately, a lot of the Uh, athletes in the other sports they don't know how to use it they are afraid they think if they use for example one whey protein maybe they get huge and there is a problem for them so uh, I want to make a m more focus on the sport sports supplements and after that I want to briefly tell you something about that uh, what we call it doping or uh, by Arabic manashatat و شو ازرار مال منشطات شو فرق بین منشطات و مکملات غذایی I will I want to tell you because even some people some athletes they think they think uh, uh, supplements is the doping it's not supplements it's not doping and in uh, some, you know the, even the professional athletes they came to me big names of the football players they came to me and they afraid to use the supplements They think if they use the supplement, maybe the doping test will be positive. So, inshallah, today we want to discuss about these things. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, this, first of all, this is my Instagram page. After we finish this uh, uh, seminar, any question that you have regarding the nutrition, sports nutrition, anything, please feel free to send me message by the Instagram. I will be very happy if I can uh, give you any assistance. Okay, so as I said to you, uh, we want to talk about the sports nutrition. There is a difference between nutrition, normal nutrition and sports nutrition. Uh, when the people, you know, the athletes, they come to me, some of them, they, they have the experience before they went to some dietitians. We have many dietitians in UAE, but they are not happy. They said when we go to the dietitians, they don't know about the, the need of the athletes. They don't know, they don't know what is the uh, sports nutrition. So the normal nutrition is not the same as the sports nutrition. As I write here, a sports nutrition is the study and practice of nutrition and diet to increase athletic performance. This is the goal of the uh, sports nutrition. And with the sports nutrition, the athletes, they know how to get a better shape, to lose more fat, and to gain some muscles to get more performance. First of all, as I said to you, you should know some, some basic information about the nutrition. One of the most important one is the calorie. What is the calorie? Calorie, we use it to measure the food. For example, we use the meter to measure the height, for example. When we say this wall is two meter, another wall is one meter, you know this wall is bigger than the another wall. The calorie is the same. Calorie is a unit for the measurement. Measurement of what? Measurement of energy of the food. But there is a, uh, there is a definition for the calorie. It's by the definition you can find it in the books. It's the energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water for one degree. This is just a definition. You should know the definition. It's not practical. But what is uh, practical, as I said to you, we compare the food or the supplements by calorie. When we say this food, for example, in 100 gram, there is uh, 100 calorie, the other 150 calories. So you know the other one with 150 calories, there is more energy inside. Uh, this label, I'm sure that you saw this label in many of the foods. Now, if you go to buy anything, even the fruits, even the chocolate, even the sports supplement, you will see this label. But what you will understand from this label, the calorie, I will show you here. This is two examples. As I said to you, when you look at these labels and you see the calorie, you understand which one has more energy. Look at the left one. The calorie here, it's mentioned, is 110 calorie. The other one, it's mentioned 170 calorie. So first, Maybe someone asks you, okay, which one is better for me? I want to use it and I, I don't want to get more fat. Maybe you tell, okay, this one is good because this is low calorie. So you should look at the serving size, not only the number of the calorie. Left side, you see the serving size in the top is one scoop. The other one, right side, the serving size is two scoops. So it, it means the left one, one scoop has 110 calories. But the other one in the right side, two scoops, 170 calories. So the yes. So the right one, the calorie is lower than le the left one. So just I wanted to show you this label. When you show the label, when you see the labels, focus on the serving size. This is very important. The other thing that I want you to know is the BMI. BMI is the abbreviation for the body mass index. We can calculate it, it's very easy. There is a formulation. Uh, by this formulation, 
uh, on the top we have the weight it should be by kilograms or uh, up, upper part is by pound but just you focus on the metric one the lower one weight by kilogram and the height should be by meter this is very important so if someone the the weight for example is 180 centimeter we should change it to meter it will be 1.8 1.8 by 1.8 so this is the top is the weight by kilogram height height multiple by height so we reach to a number that we 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 say this number uh, as a body mass index this is an example for example this this person the weight is 52 kilogram the height is 160 centimeter as i said to you 160 centimeter we have to change it to meter it will be one 1.6 so uh, after we calculate uh, the top will be the weight by 52 and the, the down will, uh, will be 1.6 multiplied by 1.6. The results will be a number, any number. This number for this uh, uh, example will be, uh, it's a 2.3. But what we understand, what we understand, there is uh, this, uh, this is the classification for WHO from the BMI, what we can understand. If the number of the BMI is between 18.5 to 25, it means normal. If it's between 25 to 30, it means overweight. If it's between 30 to 40, it means obesity. And if it's more than 40, it's morbid obesity, it means too much fat. These are the things that you should know. You know, uh, one of the jobs that I have in UAE Bodybuilding Federation, the people that they want to get the certificate as a coach, we have a committee there. I am uh, on this committee and we ask them some questions to evaluate them. Believe me, many people coming and they are coach, they are like 10 years, they are coach, and they don't have, they don't have knowledge. You know, when I ask them, okay, what is BMI? They don't know. And they said, we will calculate it by machine. I said, okay, imagine that there is no machine. I am your client. Ask me some question and calculate my BMI. They cannot answer me. So these are the basic of nutrition. So, but regarding BMI, you should know something. BMI normally, it's used for the non-athlete people, for normal population. Why? Because of this picture. If, uh, okay, but he's talking in uh, Iranian language. <laughs> he's asking to talk about Arabic about BMI. Uh, BMI, bil Arabi, ana ma araf shu bezdabt yani bil Arabi. Bas, ataqid yani kutla tel jism, kutla tel jism. Nisbat de kutla tel jism. Yes, understand? Okay. So. He's asking in Farsi to me to tell by Arabic, so... <laughs> okay, so this is the reason that I said to you the number of BMI in athletes is not very important. Why? You see these two guys, both of them same height, and both of them same weight. So, BMI is the same, yes. but. You know, you see the big difference. The left one is a, some, a person, muscular, without fat, and the right one is too much fat. Exactly. Why? Because when somebody has muscles, muscle is strong. Muscle is same as iron. You know, a, a small piece of iron maybe is one kilogram. But uh, fat is not same as muscle. The density of the fat is not, it's, uh, it's not same as the muscle is low. So maybe this amount of fat will be one kilogram. This amount of muscle is one kilogram. So this is the reason when the people, they want to lose weight, you should tell them weight is not important. Size is important. Yes. It's not important how much weight you lose uh, because this weight uh, can be fat, yani the horn, can be uh, muscle or azole. Yes, and can be water also. You know, if you go to a sauna, uh,
If you go to a sauna just for half an hour sit in the sauna, you will lose water and your weight coming down. But it doesn't mean that you lose fat. It means that your, your water of your body, you, you remove the water. This is, not, this is not something healthy. Okay. Now we are going to explain about the types of the food. <coughs> if somebody asks you how many types of the food we have, almost we can categorize all the foods in five types. First one is carbohydrates. Now I'm going to one by one to explain them. Then the proteins, after that fats, then vitaminat wal ma'aden, ba'aden mai. Now I start with the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate, because you know, uh, uh, you are the coaches, you are in the sports, and in, you know, in some sports, same as the taekwondo or the like bodybuilding and these things, the, the weight for the competition is important. So the category is by weight. Maybe one athlete won't go to the competition and he is three kilograms, four kilograms more weight. Then later I will tell you how they should reduce the weight not to lose the performance. But one big mistake is some people they start to stop the carbohydrates and increase the protein to lose weight. In this case, they, they don't, uh, their energy level coming too much down. Why? Because the carbohydrate is the source of the energy for the athletes. As you see here, the main source of the energy is carbohydrate. One gram of carbohydrate has four calories. You need to eat carbohydrate to have the energy. If you stop your carbohydrate or reduce the carbohydrate when you go to gym, you don't have energy. You will be too much tired. The carbohydrate can be stored in the muscles as a glycogen. In the body, we have glycogen. What is glycogen? Is the storage of the carbohydrate. In whole body, we have glycogen only in two places. One in liver, the other one in the muscles. This is the source of the energy for the muscles. We have two types of the carbohydrate. One of them is simple, one of them is complex. Later I will tell you what is the difference between them. And as I said here, it's a big mistake to stop the carbohydrates. This is the examples of the simple and complex carbohydrates. On the top, you will see some samples of the complex carbohydrates, same as bread, same as pasta, same as uh, uh, some kind of the fruits, potato, these things, these are good carbohydrates. They can be stored in, why, why we call them good carbohydrates? Because they can be stored in your body as a glycogen. What I said, glycogen is the energy source of the energy for the muscles. But the other part, same as the donuts, same as the soda, same as the uh, fried potatoes, or these things, uh, they, they cannot be stored as a glycogen. Just they increase your level of the sugar in your body and without any benefit for you. So it's better in a healthy diet, mainly use the complex carbohydrate, not simple. But in some times, even for athletes, we need the simple carbohydrates. When, for example, uh, maybe, maybe you are in the training something, one of your uh, uh, people, yes, athletes, you feel, yes, exactly, they, 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 uh, they feel too much tired and it shows that the blood sugar is down. In this case, if you ask them, okay, to eat the potato is not a wrong decision. Because the potato is the complex carbohydrate and it takes time to absorb. In this case, you have given them the cola because this is the fast absorbing sugar. In this case, we can help them by the simple carbohydrate because it's a fast absorbing. But in the other situations, no. Uh, Dr. Is yes. Uh, no, uh, some uh, supplements uh, complex carbohydrates no, normally, but because you know supplements, the amount of carbohydrate is some part is sugar. That sugar part is simple, but the other part is 
Yes, yes there, there is both. But normally in some supplements like the whey protein, the amount of sugar is very low. Maybe by one scoop, maybe it's uh, from like a 30 gram of the protein, you will get less than one gram of sugar. Yes. This is exactly now what I said to you. Now we go for the protein. Uh, proteins are very important. Why? Because the muscles are built from the protein. If you want to have a good power, if you want to have a good performance, your muscles must be strong. So you need to build muscles. Building the muscles doesn't mean to get huge. No. Building muscles, maybe somebody uh, can build the muscles with the uh, with, with a nice shape, not it doesn't mean always to be huge. And if if you look at the athletes in in uh, high level athletes in the world, some people that they are very successful, they have good muscles. One very good example is Cristiano Ronaldo. You see how is the body? It's same as the bodybuilders, but not with the big big size, small size, but with a nice shape, nice definition. So his performance is amazing because of the muscles. If you want to have the good muscles, the protein in your food is very important. Proteins are the most important, as I said to you, is because of the building the muscles. Also proteins, same as the carbohydrates, one gram of the proteins has four calories. So the amount of calorie by proteins and carbohydrates are the same, both of them one gram, Four calories. Pro okay, one question. So, uh, maybe people ask you, okay, uh, what is the difference between amino acids and proteins? Amino acids, proteins are made from amino acids. You know, for example, like the bricks, that by bricks we, we build a, a home. Those bricks are the amino if, if we If we break the proteins, we will get the amino acids. Yes, this is the relation between them. Uh, the main sources of the protein, of course, you know, it's the meat, fish, egg, milk, uh, chicken, and these things are the main sources. And this is what I said about the amino acids. You see, this totally, this shape is a protein. Those uh, small, uh, small circles are the amino acids. So this is the relation between amino acids and protein. Why, why I say now to you this? Because later I'm going to talk about the supplements. I want to tell you what is whey protein, what is BCAA, what is the normal amino, what is the uh, difference between isolate whey protein and the concentrate. Later I'm going. So I need you have this information for later. Then, uh, okay, okay, regarding the amino acids, we have two types of amino acids. In, in the body, in human body, we have 20 different types of amino acids. Amino acids, by Arabic, they say Ahmaz Amini, I think. Uh, yes. yes, Ahmaz Amini, but I don't know uh, essential and non-essential, which will be by, uh, by Arabic, I don't know. I don't know that one. Anyways, we have two types of, uh, we have 20 different types of amino acids in human body. And we can divide them in two categories, essential and, yeah, asasi, yes, asasi, essential and غير asasi, non-essential. Essential means the amino acids that uh, our body cannot build them. So we have to eat them by food or by supplements. Yes, our body cannot build the, uh, the essentials. But non-essential, our body can build it from the other amino acids. We have nine amino acids essential and 11 amino acids non-essential. Now, another practical point. Maybe someone asks you, okay, is there any difference between the vegetarian proteins and the non-vegetarian proteins? Yes, there is difference. The amount of the essential amino acids in veggie proteins is less than the non-veggie proteins. That's why the proteins of veggie is cheaper than the, you know, you know meat is expensive, chicken is expensive, fish is, but soy is not expensive. Yeah. 
mushroom is not expensive. That's why. Because the amount of the essential amino acids in the vegetarian, uh, the veg sorry, veggie uh, uh, proteins are less than that. So the quality of protein of the veggie is lower than the others. This is regarding the BCAA. You remember now, I told you we have essential and non-essential. Those essential, I said to you, they are nine amino acids. From these nine amino acids, three of them, we call them branch chain amino acids, or BCAA. The name of them, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. These three amino acids, we call them BCAA. They have some specific rules that I will tell you later in the section of the uh, supplements. So they will these compounds will break down and produce energy or produce... Uh, it's mainly for the anti-catabolic. I will tell you. When, okay. we, when we reach to the supplement part, I will tell you all. This is regarding the fat. Even in fat, we have good fats and fat. bad fats. The, uh, okay, regarding the calorie, <coughs> the amount of the calorie of the fat is twice than the amount of the calorie of protein and carbohydrate. As I said to you, one gram of protein and carbohydrate, they have four calories, but one gram of fat has nine calories, even more than two times. So this is the reason that with fat, with using too much fat, the people, they can uh, gain weight and they gain uh, uh, fat in the body very fast. If, uh, for the fats also, we have good fat, we call them unsaturated, and we have bad fats or we call them saturated. Those are the examples. <clears throat> Something like uh, avocado or olive oil or nuts, they have good fats. The bad fats, as you see the pictures over there, uh, like the chocolates and these things. When you go for the lab test uh, to check your lipid profile, you know, in my clinic, for example, people, they come, and I, I wanted to check by the blood test for them the amount of the cholesterol in the body. Even in the cholesterol in the body, we have good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Good cholesterol or HDL, it should be higher. Bad cholesterol or LDL should be lower. One of the benefits of the good fats, if you use them, the level of cholesterol in your body will be controlled. And this is very, very important. You know, but uh, in, in your sport, it's, uh, the people, they don't use too much hormones and this monashatat, but in bodybuilding, they use too much. And uh, when they use the hormones, one of the side effects of hormones that today I will tell you is increasing the cholesterol. When the cholesterol increasing, there is a problem for the vessels to be blocked. This one can cause for the hypertension and the heart problems and maybe heart attack. And I had many cases of these uh, people that with the high cholesterol, I told them you should stop the hormones, you should use some tablets. They didn't listen and they, they got uh, lots of problems. So anyways, what, 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 are the what is the difference between this uh, good fat and bad fat? Good fats cannot increase the bad cholesterol in the body. But one question. A, a lot of people, they ask me this question. Maybe, they, you know, they come to me, I want to give them the, the, the program diet nutrition for losing fat. Uh, and uh, they ask me, okay, uh, can I use the uh, olive oil, for example? Can I, can I fry my, my, my chicken with the olive oil? No, you cannot. Why? The energy of the olive oil or good fats is the same as energy of the bad fats. The only benefit is with the good fats, your cholesterol will be controlled. But regarding the weight, weight management, both of them are the same from the energy side. Then we go to the vitamins and minerals. Of course, you know the source of the vitamins of, and minerals are the vegetables and the fruits. 
We have two types of the vitamins, water soluble and fat soluble. Water soluble, only two vitamins, B groups and vitamin C. Fat soluble, vitamin K, E, D, and A. Regarding the fat solubles, one more, one more thing that I want to tell you. These fat solubles, from the name you know, you should eat fat to absorb those vitamins. If somebody stop the fat 100%, which is bad also, you know, it's very bad to stop the fat 100% because we need the fat uh, for our health, but we can reduce the amount, not stop it completely. For those people, those people, they get deficiency of these vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin D, and vitamin E. Sorry? No, I will explain all of them. Now, why? Yes, one by one, I will explain. So, eating the fat helps you to absorb these four types of the vitamin. Regarding the vitamins, uh, vitamin B group, we have different types of the vitamin B. Vitamin B1, as you see, B2, B3, B5. And most of, most of them, they have some roles. Mainly, they are good for the nervous system. Yani for asap, for asap, for nervous system, they are very, very benefit. Uh, they have many benefits for that. Some of them, a little bit more important. One of them is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, for the people that they are vegetarian, very important to receive the vitamin B12 by injection or by tablet something. Because the vegetarian people, the, the source of vitamin B12 mainly is uh, from uh, source yani, Arabi Haywani, yani, Mubnabat. Because when they, they are vegetarian, they, they stop to eat any, any uh, meat and these things, they will get deficiency of the vitamin B12. If you have any friends or any client, anyone, he or she is vegetarian, ask them to check the level of the vitamin B12 by blood test. This is very important. This is vitamin C. Vitamin C, it's important for the healing of the wounds for the immune system, for the skin, by the producing the collagen. And the sources, as you see, some uh, like the broccoli, like the uh, strawberries, and uh, this type of the pepper, this one is, has a, yes, this one uh, has a, it's a very, very rich source, uh, has a very rich source of the vitamin C inside. And, uh, okay, one more thing. Vitamin B, the, the water soluble vitamins, B and C, if you use them too much, nothing happens for you because the excess will be removed from your body. But fat soluble vitamin, same as vitamin A, K, D, E, if you use them more, it, it's bad for you. You will get toxicity, especially with vitamin A and vitamin D, I will tell you. Vitamin D, the roles, for the health of the vision, it's important. For the skin and the, uh, the inside of the mouth is also is important. And uh, for the skeletal tissue, important. As you, as you see here, it's written the recommend, uh, recommended uh, dosage per day is 5,000 IU per day. This is recommended, high recommended dose. If, if somebody use more, he will, he will get toxicity. Yani, it's, it's bad for, for uh, his body. We have one tablet, uh, the name is Roaccutin. We use it for the acne, for people that they have the, these pimples, the acne, we, use, we recommend them to use the Roaccutin. This Roaccutin is a high dose of the vitamin D, maybe like 300,000 IU, even more. That, that one, when the people, we want to ask them to use, when I prescribe, for example, them the Roaccutin, first I check the liver function, liver enzymes, uh, the uh, cholesterol level, and if they are lady, we will tell them, at the time that you are using this tablet, you shouldn't get pregnant. And even when you stop it, at least two months after the stop, you should 
you should be pregnant. So you see the dangers of the vitamin. You know, the people they think maybe, okay, this is vitamin, we take it, no problem. No, even the vitamins, if you don't use them properly, uh, you will get in prob problem. Uh, this is vitamin K. Vitamin K is uh, very important in the process of the clotting of the blood. Uh, what is the clotting by Arabic? Uh, Clot of the blood. Okay, that one, yes, yes. Uh, that is very important. If the level of this coming down, if something happened to the skin, we have bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Not, the bleeding will not stop. So vitamin K is very important for that. Uh, and also the sources of vitamin K, as you see mainly in the vegetables and especially green vegetables by green color. This is vitamin E. Vitamin E, we call it antioxidant. Another term that I want you to know, same as BMI, as I said to you, same as uh, calorie, I want you to know what is antioxidant. You know, in the, in the process in our body, for, we, we have metabolism, you know, when, when you eat something, we have some uh, process that, that uh, uh, the foods that you are eating, in some process, they will, uh, they will uh, be, you know, absorbed to your body. In this process, some, uh, some bad things happening in our body. Uh, you know, like uh, the same as uh, uh, some toxins, some somum, yani, okay? These things, we call them uh, free radicals. These free radicals or these uh, toxins or these somum, little by little, they can cause problem for the body, same as saratan or cancer. But we can use some uh, items or some other vitamins or some foods or some supplements we call them antioxidant Oxi antioxidant they can remove those toxins from the body so they are good they are something to prevent from cancer or the diseases w one of the natural antioxidant is vitamin E it's very important you have the sufficient amount of vitamin D in your uh, diet and even you can take it by the tablets this is as I said to you for the people that by mistake they reduce the amount of the fat or not by mistake maybe they are on the diet they want to lose weight so they reduce too much the fat they should take vitamin E otherwise they will get problem the, the especially the problem with the skin with the hair something like this um, so this, the, the, this antioxidant is very important. We have some supplements that also antioxidant like uh, CoQ10 or coenzyme 10. Uh, in the part of supplement, I will explain about them. Uh, vitamin D, uh, the function is for the bones, for the tooth. And uh, vitamin D, if the level in the body coming down, the people, they get tired. Maybe they lose the hair. And uh, uh, a lot of people, they think, because we are living in a country with uh, lots of sun, they think, okay, so never we get the vitamin D deficiency. But believe me, in my clinic, when I check the level of vitamin D for my clients, most of people, Believe me, maybe 70% of them, they have low vitamin D. And uh, they come to me with some symptoms. For example, they said, doctor, we are so tired. My hair loses, uh, I have hair loss, something. When I check the vitamin D, very low. In some cases, I cannot give them the tablet. I give them injection. Too much low vitamin D. So vitamin D, I recommend you at least check your vitamin D two, two times per year. It's very important. If you have some symptoms of uh, like tiredness, no energy, hair loss, something, 100% check your vitamin D. And it's very easy to, uh, to uh, for the treatment for that one. With some tablets or some injections, it's, it's very easy. And uh, the main sources of vitamin uh, uh, D, as you see in the dairy products, seafoods, eggs, 
And uh, uh, if, if the vitamin D level coming low, the absorption of calcium will be low also. When the absorption of calcium will be low, the, the bones will be very easily, uh, uh, you know, uh, yes, broken. So for the athletes, same as you, it's very important. For football players, very important. If they don't have the sufficient amount, you know, I, I have some football players, they come to me, they eat uh, too much calcium, tablets of calcium. But when I check their calcium level is low. Why? Because vitamin D is low. Whatever they eat, they cannot absorb it because vitamin D is low. Sun exposure, you know, uh, they said even with the short sleeve, if you go to the sun, is enough. But some, you know, the, the, the genetic of the body to absorb the vitamin D for everybody is not same. I don't know the reason, but I think we, we are living in this country. Uh, maybe our genetic is something we cannot absorb, but because it's too much, it's too much.